Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for having a look if you're a first time viewer. Thanks to all my subscribers for um, waiting for this video and, and subscribing to the channel and watching my videos. Thank you very much. Today's video is about continuing on with the BTR60 build we've been doing for Team Yankee. And today's video is about getting some crew done for these um, BTR60s that we've got here. So they're quite heavily weathered. We wanted to give them that look like they've been in the field in combat in the 1990, 91 uh, Persian Gulf War and I'll just move the detail 60s back a little bit the the first thing I'm gonna do is we've got a couple crew left over from when we did the um, T72 tank build so we've got a full sprue here for the um, for this actual build but I thought we'll use the leftover crew first so we've got two guys here they're already painted in that um, one of the Iraqi army camouflage uh, desert colored uniforms, which is the, they had some uniforms that were green and they had some that was this light sort of tan uh, brown color. So we're gonna use them for a couple of the crew. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut them out. So I'll just go along with the sprue snips. And um, sorry about putting this video up a little bit late. Uh, just. Yeah, sometimes I'm a bit busy with things and I'm trying to get a video out and it doesn't. And um, yeah, anyway. So that ends that sprue that we had. We did the four tanks and four crew commanders, um, or three tanks, sorry, and three crew commanders for that T72 build, which is on the channel. And we use these two guys for um, a couple of these BTRs. So once I get them off the sprue, then I'll just go around and I'll just tidy them up. Of course, you can use a file. Um, you don't have to use a hobby knife, but I'll just clean off the bottom of them and just have a look at their heads. Just make sure it's cut off the sprue, all right? Now we're gonna paint those, obviously those soft tanker, Soviet style um, helmets we get painted. So I'll just put them onto a bottle top into a little bit of blue tack. I sometimes use double-sided tape or you can mount them into the vehicles and then um, paint them that way. I do it this way because I'm not painting their actual uniforms. So this works all right. So I've got them there. First thing we're gonna do is paint their soft tanker caps, their, their hats. And for that, we're gonna use a black primer so you can use any black paint i like black primer because it dulls them down if you actually see a, a tanker helmet in in um, real life a, a soviet style one they are a bit dull they're in patches they almost look white so I always give your paint a good shake and then i just got the palette here so i'm just going to put a little bit onto the palette and you only need a drop because um it's just going over those helmets and when I find it, no, that's not it. Uh, the, the brush I'm gonna use for the helmets is a five zero. And I, the reason I use that is just, it's just, um, they're so fine. And you see the tiny bit of paint I've got there. So I just get a little bit of that onto the brush they're just small and I just think it's easier just to paint with a with a small brush and the reason I do the hard hats first is if I get some paint on the on where their faces are I don't mind I can touch that up and this won't dry that glossy sort of color. Once it dries, it will dry that, um, that dull color that we're after. And, um, you know, I like to do things differently in a lot of the videos. So uh, next time we paint uh, crew, we might paint them a bit differently or paint them actually um, mounted to the tank or something like that. So, 
Mm. So I just go around and just get that all painted up. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to show uh, the whole process. So we've got there. The helmet's looking good. And um, one thing I'll say is I'm, I'm not a professional painter. Don't don't watch my videos and then think, oh, you know, he's not very good for a professional painter. Well, the reason I'm not very good or the reason I do things I do um, certain ways is because, yeah, I'm totally self-taught, not a, not a professional model. Anyway, next we're going to do the faces and the hands and I'm going to use a tan earth, even though it's faded on the label there. It, the the paint color is tan earth same again give it a good shake and i'll just put a little bit on the palette in the spot we only need a, need a drop really and i know some people replace paints um fairly often they have a bit of a paint rotation um i don't i try and use it until it's not working at all until it's gone lumpy or hard and these guys i'm just going to use this darker colour for their for their faces. Um, there's plenty of flesh colours out there but I um, sometimes find that the flesh colours are a little bit too light. And remember this is this is just what I do like a basic style painting you know if you want um see the serious stuff there's plenty of channels on youtube that do proper proper modeling is it well proper modeling like um that high quality painting so give that a that brush a little rinse out and then if i want to a few um, little details um, one of them's got epilepsy you can see quite here distinctly on the model on the figure so um, sometimes when they have that I if my red worked I'll get a red this is fire red but any any red color will do and I'll just paint his epilepsy to give him that a bit of a Bit of an officer look now there's so many different units in the iraqi army it's like um some had certain colored epilepsy some had yellow some had red um some are red and yellow so there's a there's a few different types so I'll just give these guys a little bit of paint on their epilepsy Makes them stand out a little bit more. So just a dash of red. And then I'll rinse that brush out on a same technique in the tray here. There's just a one of these cells has water in it. And I'll just rinse them out of water. They're water, you know, rinsable water paint, water-based paints. So nice and easy to rinse out. And then once I've got that crew to this stage, I mean we just painted them, they're just drying. So what I'll do next is I'm gonna use a panel line ascent black. You can do a water wash if you want, or you can use a brown. But I thought with most of the uniform still being that sort of khaki color, I thought if we do a little, a little bit of black across them, just to highlight the uniforms a little bit. Now you don't have to do anything at all if you don't want to. Um, this is just me, this is just one of those things I'm doing, so just a little bit in his uniform. So once we've got a little bit of that, then, and I'm showing you, this is, you know, this is done in 10 minutes, you know, the, this whole thing. So we'll grab two of the BTRs. 
and grab two like that. And we're going to two crew, two BTRs. I'm going to grab some store bought super glue. I just use the standard, you know, go down to the local shops and buy a store bought super glue. It's not anything fancy, it's not a modeling super glue or anything like that. And I'll just put some in there. You can see it there. And then some in this one. And put a little bit more in there. So we've got some super glue in there. And with the figures we just painted, I mean, they're still not dry, dry, but they're dry enough just to lift off this and sit in that, sit inside that turret. Same with this guy. I'm just gonna pull him off of there and I'm just gonna sit him straight into that turret. Now he's facing the other way, I'll probably Spin him around, put him in that way. And there's enough super glue just there to just grab onto him. And I'll go through with the other two BTRs and I'll do the same thing. And that's how I would paint up and put in crew. Just one way of doing it quick and easy, nice and fast. You can get crew into vehicles. And this was the leftover crew from the uh, T72 Iraqi Army build we did, so um, you could get a heap of these guys in there uh, pretty quickly, and we just did that in that um, 12 minutes. So thanks for watching the video. Heaps more coming up. We'll get back onto that Abrams build and the GHQ infantry, Vietnam infantry um, build with that as well. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll get another video out. They're going to be more consistent now. Um, I just had to have that small break because something come up, um, stopped me for a few minutes in that few, few days and we're back into it and thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video